Desmos is practically a must-have if you're teaching math these days. Um, it's just this really neat tool that lets students um, create their own graphs. They can easily modify them. It works great on projectors. Um, you know, really, this is kind of like the one of the big math tools that you'd want to use, um, whether you're teaching math or anything that's going to start doing with any kind of graphing algebra. Um, it's got a lot of possibilities. And so there's two ways that you can embed this into your docents. One of them is they have the share graph. And from here, then they give you a little embed code. But this only embeds a, um, like a static image of it. And so if I click on embed, and it's this code that I want right there. So I'll copy that. I'm going to head back over here. And what this will, once it loads in, um, is just a simple image of that graph that we had. So this is really nice if you're creating graphs and you want to show your students what they look like, this is the way to go. Um, but it kind of loses all of the interactivity. And so if you want them to be able to modify the graph, one option is to you know link to here. Um, students have their own accounts. Uh, but another way is if you just simply copy the URL here. And it's a little bit more technical, but we're going to turn this into an iframe. So I did Google search for iframe generator, um, and you'll probably find this one of seventhspace.com. I'll also link to it in the uh, YouTube description below. And I'm going to paste the URL of that Desmos graph that I have, and I'm going to change this height because they set it at 60, but I want it a lot more than that. So I'm going to change this to 400, and I'll click generate iframe, and it's that chunk of code that we want. So I'll copy that, and heading back over here, I'll paste that in. And now that the window is a lot smaller, uh, but it does now allow students to modify and manipulate the graph based on what we have right there. Uh, and they can put in their own equations <clears throat> and they can still kind of move the mouse around and kind of figure out these different spots of like the X and the Y intercepts. Um, and so students can then modify that. And so they can, you, you can then have a question of, you know, explain, explain how, ex you know, describe how the shape of the graph changes as M increases or as B increases, you know, or, or what effect does B have on the shape of the graph? You can add in those types of questions then um, by embedding the actual Desmos graph in there. Um, and students can then also edit the list here and so you can give them some additional instructions from that as well. And so that's how two different ways that you can use Desmos graphs uh, for really kind of enriching any of your lessons that are going to have any kind of algebra or graphing in them.